So The Iron Trial is the first book in the Magisterium series, which is intended to be five books long. And each of the books chronicles a year in the life of our hero, Callum Hunt. He is a young boy who was brought up by his father to believe that magicians are the most dangerous and evil thing that exists in the world and that magic will kill you. His father blames magic, and in specific, the Magisterium, which is the academy where young magicians are taught for the death of his wife, for ruining his life, for a whole host of terrible things. And so he instructs Callum to fail the entrance exams that get you into the Magisterium, which you're required to take. And Cal plans to fail them, and fail them he does. He fails spectacularly. However, that's not enough to get him out of magic school. There are other forces at work. So he has to go to magic school anyway, and there he makes friends, discovers new you know, ways of using his power, discovers how magic works, discovers sort of the history of the magical world and how it's existed alongside our world for so long. Um, meets a giant lizard who isn't really a lizard, gets himself a uh, wolf for a pet, uh, has a ton of adventures, and at the end of the book learns something about himself that changes the way he thinks about himself forever. The Magisterium series grew out of this idea that Cassie and I had sort of batted around for a long time, and when we actually sat down to do this, um, we were in an airport. We were about to get on a plane, and um, by the time we landed in that flight, we had plotted out all five books. And it was amazing how quickly a lot of things came together. And the central thing of this series, without giving away too much, is really um, interrogating good and evil, heroes and villains. And that is the thing that we have constantly come back to as we work through the books, as we work through ideas for the books. And so I hope that people will enjoy going on that journey of exploration of those concepts with us. Well, Holly and I came up with the series together, um, and it was the result of kicking around the idea for a plot line for a long time that we both really loved. And at some point I said, you know, I'd love to write this plot line, but I don't know, I've never done middle grade. It's clearly a middle grade story. And Holly said, well, I've done middle grade. We should combine our forces. And then we could get the story written that we really love. And I think for me, the story has a lot to do with confronting expectations and archetypes. We go into stories like this, which are about this kind of character, and we have a set of expectations about what's going to happen to him, and you know, is it, what kind of destiny he's going to have, and is you know, we're not surprised to find out that he's the most powerful magician and all, and the most special, and the most important, and the most interesting, and the fate of the world rests on his shoulders. But that's not what happens to Cal. It's a very sideways thing that he that is actually what Cal discovers about himself and so for me a lot of the interest that I had in the book and sort of the passion I had for the book was a bit kind of summed up in the tagline you know you think you know magic you don't know magic and so I feel like it's kind of like you think you know you know what how we use magic as a metaphor to talk about um, heroism and bravery and good and evil, but in actually we're going to be using magic as a metaphor to talk about good and evil in a completely different way. And that was what attracted me to the story, and um, that's what's kept it so fun for me.